Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to raise and lower the front mount deck on a grasshopper lawnmower. And not every grasshopper has a front mount deck, but in my opinion, the front mount deck is the only way to go. So, for reference, this is a 2001 Grasshopper 721D, the D standing for diesel. Does anybody else love the smell of diesel? Now, there are two versions of this front mount deck mower. There's a manual version, which is what this is, meaning you have to kind of hulk it up. And then they also have a power lift or a power fold version that includes a little cylinder over here on the side that's actuated electronically, which will lift it for you. Now, the decks, these decks are very well built and they're pretty heavy. Long term, I think I'm probably going to want a power fold, but while I'm still young and spry, I'll hulk it up and show you guys how to do this. I just moved it over in the shade. Hopefully the lighting's a little bit better. Step one though is to make sure you have it parked on a flat level surface and preferably concrete. It's gonna be much easier than having it on gravel or even you know dirt and grass. Once you have it parked, uh, you, you wanna kick this foot plate up. And if you've never done this, it just lifts forward or up. And you, you, know, you may question how you get it down. Well, you actually just bump it to the right, just drop it back down. So you kick that plate up. And as you can see, these are PTO driven machines. So then you Put your hand in here and just pull the PTO forward to get it off and then you can just slide it off the coupler there. And so up under here, you can see this little bar right here, just underneath it, there's a catch. So you can take this and fold it. You may have to turn the PTO a little bit to make it line up, but you can take it and fold it into this little cradle there. It just kind of keeps it out of the way for you. And then you get grease all over your hands. It's a good sign, at least I'm greasing my machine, right? So once you have the PTO out of the way, you're gonna wanna make sure you do have the deck raised in all the way up position. I typically mow it as high as I can go. So, so if you happen to mow with your deck very low, say, in that position, you're going to want to ensure that it is all the way up. So grab your handle, pull it up. So now the deck has been raised to its highest position. This lever here, is the stand on which this will pivot. So when I move this, when I push this to the left and pull it up toward me, it puts a roller down on the ground. So here, I'll see if I can't set the camera up and show you. So you can see that PTO shaft laying there. I'll try to move it down now and show you guys how this stand comes down. All right, so now you can see those couple roller wheels and they are literally a half inch off the ground. So. If your deck is too low when you start this process, you're never gonna get those wheels down and be able to put the weight of the deck on them. So again, ensure your deck's all the way up and then drop those wheels. Now, once you have those wheels down, the next step is to put weight onto them. So now you grab your handle and lower it. And you can see here, it's not gonna wanna lower nearly as far as it would have previously because all the weight is being set on those wheels. So got the weight off of the Get the weight on those wheels, and then you can take this handle, squeeze it in, fold it down out of the way so that when we kick this up, it is not hitting the tire. All the weight is now resting on those wheels down there, which I'll show you. If you can see the gap that was previously there is now gone. And so all we have to do is release these catches in here and then pick it up. So on each side, we've got this little catch here. I think this little lever on the side here is what you really use. I always just take my finger and do it here, but you can see this little notch. You're going to bring it forward and get that spring to set in there. Here, I'll actually do this one correctly. So you grab the outside pin, roll it forward. All right, now at this point, it is ready to go. This whole mechanism here is going to pivot on this pin here on both sides. So we can just, like I said, hulk it up. If you're a little concerned about the weight, you could always have a friend help you. Uh, but what you do is you get underneath it with your hands, and then you lift with your back as hard as you can. And it's up. So we'll talk about the benefits of this here in just a second. I'll reverse the process so you can see that. But before we do, one very important part, especially if you're not the only person around, you're gonna leave this up. You have kids, you have pets. There is a security mechanism on this. So you can see this little cotter pin just to the right of the seat here or left or sitting on it. You can pull that out. And then there's this bar right here on the front of the deck. Mine's kind of pinned down with this rubber stop. 
which we'll put that back so the lid doesn't open, but you got this bar, right? So and on the end of here, it's got like an eyelet. So you can just pivot this over and you're actually gonna end up pulling the entire deck back towards yourself a little bit. So to almost have it in a uh, position where it would fall. But what you do is you take this eyelet, maybe, there we go, stick it over that pin and then drop this cotter pin in here. Now, no matter how hard you pull or knock on this thing, it is not gonna go anywhere. Trust me guys, this thing has to be 300 pounds or more. And as you can see, it's got some pretty heavy gauge steel on it. Uh, it would it would hurt, it would definitely hurt someone. So ensure that's on there. All right, so what's so cool about this? Well, there's multiple things. If you've ever had a zero turn that didn't have this, you often know when it comes time to change your blades, check your spindles, clean the deck, which mine needs. You gotta take the entire mower and tip it up, put it on jack stands, put it on blocks, lay underneath it. It's uncomfortable, it's dangerous, it's a real pain. And this just eliminates all that. Not to mention, you can now put these on a trailer, flip them up for storage, get more lawn mowers on, because these are very long, but also very stable, uh, for storage in your garage in the wintertime. If you wanna back a car in, your bay's not long enough, you can flip the deck up, which I have done before. Uh, so just multiple reasons as to why this feature is insanely awesome. So yeah, you can come in here, take your blades off, sharpen them, clean up the deck, whatnot. Um, for the sake of this video, I will not be doing that today. And my blades are pretty well beat up here. Looks like I may have mowed a few big rocks. Uh, but yeah, so now let's reverse the process and I'll show you how to put this back down. And I'll go a little fast with this because it's the exact same process in reverse. So, pull your cotter pin. Get that release opened up there. Go ahead and set your cotter pin back in the... Now you gotta just set it back down. All right, so after you have it set back down, these little latches kind of reposition themselves for you. So, put the handle back up, and as you begin to move this down, you'll hear them both click into position. So now, you can actually raise and lower the deck like you did previously. So, you, what you wanna do is bring it up, get the weight off the stand, Take the stand, put it down, and now you can see that the deck is back down and you can raise and lower it as needed. Grab the very greasy PTO shaft. Slide the PTO shaft back on, knock it over, it's done. Hi YouTube. Uh, brain fart, hold please. I'm trying to teach my wife what how to time? use the grasshopper. Take bets. Grasshopper? Who's going to use the grasshopper first, my wife or my son? He's four, by the way. So there you have it. A pretty easy process on raising and lowering the front mount deck on a grasshopper. Like I said, they have a powerful version as well, which would only be all the easier. There's really numerous benefits to this kind of setup, both for maintenance purposes, but then also just use this deck when it's out front, flexes up and down, doesn't scalp when you're going over uneven terrain. I actually put together a video here shortly of how I use this around my pond, it's it's phenomenal. And not to mention just how well these things hold slope and climb hills. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, come back and see me, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.